Hello, everybody. I hope you are going well. My name is Benjamin Anglès Rampera, and I am professor of tax law at the Open University of Catalonia in Barcelona, Spain. The title and subject of my paper is the resolution of tax disputes and international tax arbitration. Thank you for your attention. One of the different international legal matters which requires regulation is taxation, not only for its complexity, but also because the unwanted consequence of applying some different national tax regulations to the same events or activities. These unwanted consequences may arise taxpayers who might be forced to pay tax twice on the same earnings or double taxation and also for states which may see their tax collection expectations negatively affected by non-taxation. After several attempts to resolve this issue by different international organizations, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, approved in 2013 its action plan to tackle the problems associated with the tax base erosion and profit shifting or BEPEs. One of the actions contemplated in that plan was the creation of the multilateral convention to implement tax treaties to prevent base erosion and profit shifting, or MLI, in 2016. One of the mechanisms contemplated in the MLI is to implement international arbitration in cases which double agreement procedures are not successful. This arbitration must be mandatory and binding, and start by the request of taxpayers. Despite the reticence of some states to give up part of, this, of their sovereignty, the current economic laws that they suffer in their tax income are forcing them to adopt new measures at international level. In fact, international problems can only be resolved with multilateral solutions. Following the line, the European Union approved in 2017 a new directive forcing member states to introduce procedures with binding arbitration in their legal system for resolving time disputes and providing effective solutions outside of their national courts. Everybody agrees that the world has totally changed with the arrival of new technologies and the digital economy. So the international rules must change to face the new realities and to ensure a more balanced growth and a better distribution of global wealth. I'm sure that the international tax arbitration can help to achieve this important objective. To resolve international tax disputes between two countries, there are the double taxation agreements or DTA. To eliminate the double taxation and avoid unwanted effects upon both countries' tax revenues. Despite the benefits of bilateral double taxation agreements, in resolving tax disputes between taxpayers and tax authorities, sometimes they are not enough to face the behavior of some taxpayers who try to avoid the tax obligations of using of tax regulations. New tools are necessary to be more effective with the consequence of international double taxation and especially to prevent double non-taxation, that is, not paying tax in any jurisdiction. As part of the implementation of OECD Action Plan, the organization announced in 2016 the Multilateral Convention to Implement Tax Treaties to Prevent Base Erosion and Profit Shifting, or MLI with the clear goal to address the glaring shortcomings of double taxation agreements. The MLI is more ambitious than DTA because it provides a response to the shortcomings of bilateral treaties, especially with regard to regulation of the use of hybrid mismatch arrangements and about the permanent establishment in a third party jurisdiction. That means that the coexistence of the new MLI with any existing DTA will permit the implementation of the new actions without the need to renegotiate each of the bilateral tax treaties. 
the transition from a model only based on bilateral treaties to one using multilateral agreements between several countries favors a better unification of their tax regulation and a better adaptation into a constantly changing global context. In addition, multilateral treaties provide more and better mechanisms to fight against fraud and tax avoidance, especially in cases of triangular relationships such as those of abuse of double residence or the controversial figure of the permanent establishment. For all of these reasons, multilateral treaties like the MLI are crucial in resolving tax conflicts between countries, much better than the DTA. One of the tax dispute resolution mechanism in the MLI is the mutual agreement procedure or MAP. When a taxpayer considers that the measures adopted by one of the signatory countries entails or may entail his or her taxation, not in accordance with the provision of the tax agreement, he or she may present the case to the tax authority of eight of the signature states within three years from the first notification of the objective tax action. If the objection appears to be justified and if it is not able itself to arrive at a satisfactory solution, the tax authority must resolve the case by mutual agreement with the competent authority of the other signature country. One important aspect of MAP is the duty of countries to uphold and promote transparency all the time, because a key aspect is ensuring that the arbitration procedure has a strong credibility as a tool for resolving time disputes. MLI also establishes correlative adjustments in those cases in which the business profits taxed by a country include the profits obtained by another business in another country, which had already been subject to the taxation in that other country. In such cases, the tax authority of the country in which the profits are declared shall carry up the correlative adjustments in the amount of the tax already lived upon to the profits obtained in the other country. This adjustment is bilateral, in other words, with a positive adjustment in one business increasing its taxable base and a negative adjustment in the other, decreasing in taxable base in the same amount, with the aim to distribute the profits between the two countries. In any case, such adjustments are made to the tax base and for tax reasons, then they have no impact on the business accounts. Although correlative adjustments may be easily understandable, on a conceptual level, they are not so understandable about a transaction between two different jurisdictions, because each country will exercise its fiscal power in providing for its own transfer pricing policy. That is the importance of international treaties to include specific rules allowing the resolution of that kind of conflicts. MLI also includes the international tax arbitration as another mechanism for resolving conflicts about a clash between the tax legislation of two or more countries. In general, arbitration is an alternative out of court resolution method in which the parties agree to submit their dispute to the decision of a neutral third party. At international level, it's more difficult to find separate state institutions and so the use of international arbitration may be a good solution for resolving such conflicts. MLI includes rules on arbitration, establishing the obligation to resolve tax disputes between jurisdictions by international arbitration mechanisms, which, in addition to facilitate conflict resolutions, gives a plus of legal security to the tax disputes resolution procedures. When a taxpayer considers the action of one or both tax authorities in his or her taxation is not in accordance with the provision of the double treaty agreement between them, taxpayer may submit a claim within three years of the, fear of the first notification of the matter in dispute. If the tax authorities reject the claim or don't reach an agreement according with the provision of DTA, they shall have a period of two years to resolve it by mutual agreement. If that period finishes without agreement, 
the question shall be submitted to arbitration if the payer so requests. Once the arbitration has been requested, the jurisdiction in charge shall take care of the arbitration panel formed by three individual members with expertise or experience in international tax matters. Each tax authority shall appoint one member of the panel and the two choose members shall choose the third member who will serve as a chairman of the arbitration panel. The chairman cannot be a national or resident of I tax authorities jurisdictions. After the constitution of the panel, the tax authorities of the two jurisdictions shall submit in the fixed time period any documents they consider or request by the panel to set out the position on proposal of resolution. With the information and documents submitted, the arbitration panel shall reach a decision. In this regard, the panel has the power to select as its decision one of the proposals submit or its own decision. The arbitration panel's decision shall be binding on all parts and shall be implemented through a mutual agreement. Following the OECD initiative, the European Union finally took on board the fact that the shortcomings and gaps must be tackled with new multilateral tax dispute resolution mechanisms because they usually were bilateral. The Council approved in 2017 the Directive 1852 in October 10 on tax dispute resolution mechanisms in the European Union on income and capital taxes, which establishes the obligation for member states to implement and develop a tax dispute resolution system that includes arbitration to achieve enforceable and binding out of court solutions. With this objective, the tax authorities of each country must implement preventive measures to avoid the conflicts between the provision of tax agreements and their domestic law. Secondly, they must encourage the friendly resolution of tax disputes. And lastly, they must establish an arbitration procedure which permits a faster and more effective resolution of tax disputes outside of the judicial system. The steps of tax arbitration procedure are First, taxpayer has to present a complaint to the tax authorities. If they decide to accept the taxpayer's complaint, they should resolve the question by a mutual agreement procedure between the member states, whose resolution deadline is two years from the acceptance of the complaint. If they reach an agreement, it shall be notified to the taxpayer, which is enforceable then he has to accept the decision and renounce the right to the judicial process. In the case of the tax authorities do not reach an agreement, the taxpayer shall be informed, indicating the reasons because there is not an agreement. And, and at this point, the taxpayer might decide if he or she wants to request an arbitration. If the arbitration is request, the tax authorities of the member states shall set up an arbitration commission. The Commission is composed by one, by one representative of each state, one independent person also appointed by each state, and a chairman chosen by the rest of members who shall be the judge. After its constitution, tax authorities will notify to the taxpayer about the composition of the Commission, the proceedings time frame, the proceedings rules, and any other relevant subject. The different parts in the process shall provide the Commission with any information, evidence or document that might be relevant for the resolution. In this regard, the taxpayer might request to appear before the Commission. Within six months, the Arbitration Commission must deliver its opinion to the tax authority of the member states. It shall be adopted by a simple majority of its members, with the chairman having the casting vote in the case of a tie. The tax authorities shall agree on how to resolve the question within six months. If they fail to reach an agreement in that period of time, they shall be bound by that decision. Whatever the case, the final decision shall be notified to the affected person without delay, 
and shall be binding and implemented to the taxpayer, who has to accept the final decision and renounce to the judicial proceedings. Finally, although the Commission's decision do not set a precedent, their content shall be illustrative and serve as a guide for a taxpayer behavior in the future. About conclusions, the new technologies, the global markets, and the digital economy have changed the international relations, forcing countries to find new regulations in all matters, so in taxation, showing the weakness of national tax legislations and the bilateral agreements between countries, because taxpayers can avoid or reduce their tax payments. Double taxation agreements, which were effective for a time, are not enough in, the news, in this new international scenario, and they cannot provide response to all disputes and especially for some taxpayer abuse of regulations. Then there is a need to go beyond to the bilateral treaties and promote multilateral agreements in response to these new global challenges. The new multilateral agreements as a mechanisms for the resolution of tax disputes outside the judicial system gives new opportunities for taxpayers and tax authorities to resolve their disputes and avoid the unwanted consequences of the double taxation and especially the non-taxation. Such mechanisms include international arbitration, which makes possible to achieve solutions to tax disputes between taxpayers and tax authorities from different countries with no need to go to the court. The OCD at worldwide level and the European Union at the European one have promoted a range of measures to encourage the resolution of tax disputes, including international tax arbitration. In this line, the Council of the European Union has approved a directive to promote the implementation of tax disputes resolution mechanisms by member states, including compulsory binding arbitration. In any case, arbitration takes place after the failure of a mutual agreement and it's offered to the taxpayer as an alternative to a judicial action. Its binding nature for jurisdictions makes it really attractive as an alternative resolution method. Although it's still early to reach any conclusions about their effectiveness worldwide, the tax arbitration procedures can be seen as a good tool to resolve tax disputes and to tackle the fraud and tax avoidance at global level. And that's all. Thank you for your attention and I'm yours for any question you have. Have a good time.